welcome back to Bruise with Beck. I'm Dan. And how the hell are you? Um, got mystery beer number nine. See this bad boy? Don't know what it is. So, the, the Peter uh, saga of mystery beers continues. So, there we go. Uh, got my Nuggets playing right now against Orlando. Hopefully it'll be a nice easy win for Jokic. Uh, buffs. Whoops. Ugh. Didn't fare too well uh, against Florida State. But... It's neither here nor there. I'm alive and drinking beer, so that's that's the best part. Um, all right, uh, yeah, got the envelope right here. It says what it'll actually be, and uh, should be on the dark side of beer. So let's see what we got. All right, here we go. All right, darkish, but that's not that ain't no midnight dark. Anyway, um, if you do me a favor, hit the like button below. I would really appreciate it, and. Uh, enjoy all, all the beer experiences that you're seeing me do may as well subscribe come on may as well subscribe um all right so as we can see this is not i'm already gonna guess off the stout unless it's a uh um i, f I forget if they call it golden stout or white stout or something like that that this is uh it's not looking not looking uh, like a stout or or porter so all right well, no words, just emotions. Let me get the first sipper. All right, here we go. Huh. Almost has like a Belgian uh, type feel to it. Yeah, almost like want to say a quad um, potentially or, or or maybe a double don't it's not don't think it's a triple uh, good old Belgian terms but uh all right well give me uh, give me a second for, for you it'll seem like nothing and I'm gonna see if I can uh, get some notes and guess uh, what I think in the ABV and you know what this is about in the rating so all right here we go all right then welcome back how the hell are you? All right. Um, this is this is interesting. Um, I'm gonna say that this is a ab absolutely a Belgian beer. My guess is it is, it is a quad, not a not a not a double or triple. I think a triple would have been a little a little lighter. Even though it has characteristics of a triple, like you know, a little a little orange and uh, lemon maybe, but like. I don't know. Feel, feels feels like it could be a quad. It's got really light malt. Um, kind of has like a really zesty kind of orange lemon thing going on with it. Uh, with the malt, you know, it's it's. Uh, it's a smooth boozy, but you can tell it's boozy. That's gonna be my guess. Is it? It's a quad that is eleven percent. I may, who knows where I'm at on it, but it does feel boozy, um, cause yeah, I'm just getting like orange, lemon, you know, little malt, floral, but like, can tell it's a, like a Belgian made thing, um, anyway, do I think it's barrel aged, I don't think it's barrel aged, um, it's no hops, cause I don't, I, you know, it's not a, not an IPA, Again, I said I'm guessing 11%, and I'm going to say, without knowing what this is, um, it's not like my, ex I, 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 I'm okay on these beers, they're, they're not like my super favorite, they, they definitely are a sipper, and, they, and you know, I couldn't even describe, like, it, it, it definitely has something that, you know, it's, it's boozy, I don't, I don't want to say it has like, like, it's just like a lemon orange, like almost, uh, licorice kind of feel to it, um, liqueur feel. Um, but I'm uh, I'm gonna give it a pen starting go. I gotta get a new one. Not stellar, not solid, but decent, decent. I'm gonna go with a rock solid decent for what I'm guessing is a Belgian quad, 11%, uh, no barrel aging. So, all right, let's see what we got. Is it up? Interesting. 
Okay. So, yeah, I'm not gonna, well, pull, hold on, let me see if I can pull the uh, label off so you can see it. Okay, how are you? Is able to get the thing off? So, there's what it is, and I'll describe it as you look at it. Um, by Blue Moon Brewing from Denver, um, you know, coming from the Coors family, but apparently they're our, their own thing now. Julep Moon American Strong Ale. This bad boy was aged for more than eight months in Woodford Reserve bourbon barrels. This ale is inspired by the classic mint julep uh, cocktail. Woody syrup, rich dark malt, and sweet minty flavors. Mmm, and it's 9%, so I overdid it. it. It felt boozier than that, and I swore I thought it was, it was kind of a weird quad, even though like, I thought quads were supposed to be more malty, but I just, I couldn't put my eye on it. That, I need to, I need to guess sometimes more, because that's fooled me twice on, uh, well, it was a strong golden ale, but I don't drink those too often, but, alright. Sure you can see that? Looks kind of nice. I'd never even heard of it. So, that's cool. So, I'm supposed to be getting, uh, jeez, this is why I'm doing this. It just shows, like, you, I, I sat here for two minutes trying to break down what I was getting, and I didn't, I, I could, it is syrupy. I could have said that. I don't know if I would have called it woody syrup, but I see what they're saying. Uh, maybe a little bit. Um, obviously, rich dark malt. You know, yeah. Obviously, it's malty. I just didn't. I got more like. Felt like I was getting like an orange, like lemon lime thing. But again, that's supposed to be like sweet minty flavors. So. <sighs> Way to uh, stump me again, Pete. But but again, you know, um, um, oh well, there you go. You get you know you get you got the bourbon. It, it's bourbon barrel age, so you know it's, it's supposed to be minty slash maybe a little sweet from the bourbon and all that. So it's interesting. It's got just like that forward. You sweet and sour. I just I was saying orange and orange and lime lemon, but yeah. So it's uh that that threw me for a loop. Interesting. Never even heard of this. So Julep Moon. Uh, you know, from Denver, Colorado. Where uh, you know, where I'm from, where where where, where my nuggets are from, so Broncos. Uh alright. Interesting. That's all I can say. Interesting. Glad I uh glad I tried this and would have never thought you know. Pete, Pete's got, got some exotic beers that he always introduces me to you, so this is another one that, very interesting. Okay, well, yeah, I'd, I, I'd say give it a try, especially, especially if you're a mint julep person. I'm not, that's not my usual drink, so, you know, what are you going to do? But, uh, yeah, so, I'm uh, on to, uh, I'll be on to soon, Pete's mystery beer number 10 and I also have a mystery beer from another friend of mine who was inspired by seeing these and she's a neighbor not too far from me so she's sent me a uh, mystery beer herself so I might do that uh, right after this video. Um, what up Sam? Um, Alright well good talk maybe check out this uh, julep moon if you're into kind of the mint julep uh, you know bourbon barrel aged thing again it's worth trying. See, it's interesting. It's it's not for everyone, but you know, it's interesting. Anyway, good talk. See you out there. All right.